Hello, I'm Mark Hinton of PHS Warner Howard, and today I would like to introduce you to the latest edition of our range, the brand new Air Force Slim. As you can see, it's available in four finishes, black, white, these are, these are die cast aluminium covers, and then to my left here, polished and brushed stainless steel. The great thing about this dryer is that it's only four inches or 100 millimeters deep, so if you have a confined space, a small washroom, or you're looking for an alternative to a Dyson V, for example, then the new Air Force Slim should have everything that you're looking for. Now we'll have a little bit more of a detailed look at the features of the dryer. The depth of the dryer is only 100 millimeters. When we actually look at the capabilities of this product, it's permanently warm air, and on full speed, still only uses 950 watts of power. But we do have a switch, once you've taken the cover off, which I'll show you a little later, where you can adjust the speed so you have a low, medium and high setting. One of the clever things about this product is that it adjusts the power of the heating element as you reduce the speed of the fan. So that your drying air is actually constant right the way through the range. Another superb feature is extra long brush life on the product. So we have on the first set of brushes up to 3,100 hours of use which is a phenomenal rate and actually exceeds our Smart Dry in brush longevity. Um, but unlike the Smart Dry, you can actually change the brushes on this, on this product once. So you can actually extend the life of the motor to just over 5,000 hours. In a moment, we'll take the cover off and we'll have a look at the insides of the dryer and I can point out the other fantastic feature of it, which is the HEPA filter. I've removed the cover now using the supplied 5mm security Allen key. Now, looking at the dryer here, at the top, here is our HEPA filter, which is really easy to um, replace. It literally just lifts out the top and it has a, a rubber seal all the way around making it airtight. So that's very, very simple to replace. Um, the replacement options on these really time intervals in a really busy environment. You probably will look at uh, once a year uh, in, a, in a normal environment, if there is such a thing, um, you probably get away with two years before you need to replace this filter. The other really interesting thing, similarly to the Smart Dry, we have a little button here, and when the unit is actually plugged in, there are th this panel here lights up and it's, uh, it has numbers, it's a numbered panel. So each time you push this, a series of lights will come on. In the instruction book, the operating uh, manual, it tells you exactly what those uh, lights actually mean. But literally by pushing this, you scroll through three pushes and you're going from um, high down to medium, down to low, or vice versa. So it's a really flexible unit. So if, if you're looking for HEPA filtered clean air, using as, as little as 450 watts, and you want it to be quiet, you'd put it on the low fan speed. If you really want to blast it out, and it, it, you know, it really is a quick product, um, dry time of around 11 seconds, um, put it on high, lovely warm air, so it's nice and comfort for, comfortable for the user, and a superb quick dry time. But of course it will be a little bit noisier.